My mom packed me apples for one. Oh, really? Oh my god, my mom did too. Oh, I love apples. Mine looks so fresh. Wait, why are, you, why are you so much whiter than mine? I think my mom puts lemon juice on it. Um, ill. These are brown apples. I wonder why that happens. I don't know. They still taste the same. Enzymes alter other molecules by adding, subtracting, or changing the shape of other molecules. This illustration shown here is called the lock and key enzyme activity. Enzymes have a unique shape which enables them to do specialized tasks. The polyphenol oxidase must fit its substrate in order to act. The specific fit of an enzyme with its substrate is called the lock and key conformation. Here we have the substrate and it must fit into the enzyme and where the enzyme where the substrate meets the, the enzyme is called the active site. The secondary, primary, and tertiary structures are responsible for the active site. After this occurs, the substrate is converted to products and then the active site is available for another molecule or substrate. When an apple is cut, oxygen is introduced into the injured plant tissue because the enzyme, which is polyphenol oxidase, which is located in chloroplasts of the apple, is absorbed by the phenol compound, which is the substrate molecule, and produces oquinones, which are responsible for the brown coloring in the apple. So I asked my Ma Dukes why she put lemon on my apples, and I learned some very neat stuff. Lemons prevent apples from turning brown because the lemons reduce the acidity of the enzyme polyphenol oxidase. The enzyme becomes denatured because it was modified by the lemons. Now I know to put lemon on my apples.